Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Will for Herschel Gaming, and today we're playing some Injustice 2. Uh, I've not actually had a whole lot of time playing this game. I've played about a week, maybe two weeks, like if I'm really stretching it. I got the game two weeks ago, but I haven't played it every single day. Uh, I've played it here and there for the past two weeks, and I've just been learning a few characters. I beat the story mode. Uh, the characters that I've been really going into, though, and learning has been Robin and Harley Quinn. Uh, as you guys can see, they're probably my highest leveled characters. But, uh, yeah, Robin and Harley Quinn, and today I'm going to be showing you guys Robin. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Robin. I went with his Damien's Regret color scheme because it just looks so cool. My first opponent is Deadshot. Uh, this game is made by the same developers who make Mortal Kombat, but it's, of course, DC superheroes. And in the DLC of this game, you know, there's Raiden and Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. I just had a great idea. Put your hands up and surrender? No. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you with your own guns. Begin. Uh, the reason I chose Robin is because, quite honest with you guys, Robin is super fun to play if I could stop getting beat up. But uh, Robin is super fun to play. I've not played a whole lot, so, you know, I'm not gonna be as good as I am, say, at Mortal Kombat. And the control screen is way different in this game than Mortal Kombat. By the way, just to let you guys know, uh, all the controls really are flipped around. There's not really that many shared controls. So if you're looking for a, a new fighting game with new mechanics and new controls, and you've been playing Mortal Kombat, go ahead and grab Injustice if you like the superheroes, especially if you like DC. This is not how you impress me. Uh, this game is very fun. It has a lot of really cool features and really cool mechanics. I think the gear system is done way better than Mortal Kombat's gear system, although I do have complaints about... Uh, there's no classic costumes available for a lot of the characters. Uh, there's no uh, movie costumes available for a lot of the characters, like Harley Quinn doesn't have her Suicide Squad outfit, and Robin doesn't have his classic outfit. Alright. And... Something else about this game is, there's no killing in the DC Universe. Like, it's not allowed. Uh, I mean, for cer certain cutscenes and stuff, there there is in the story mode. But, for a general rule, the DC superheroes aren't allowed to kill people. So, what uh, the way they went around that was, instead of doing a fatality or an end, screen, uh, or an end match thing, they just ended the match. Which is kind of a disappointment. I wish they would have had, like, you know, heroic beatdowns or something, you know, something along the lines of what they had in MK versus DC. Even though that game is critically hated, uh, I, f I feel like that would have been nice to have in Injustice. Uh, the Clash system is really cool. You're at the top of my list. Of coolest people in the world? My kill list, Quinn. Begin. Uh, the thing about Robin in this game is he's not your typical, uh, he's not your typical superhero. And he, that's, he's always been like that. In every one of the comics that I can find that's not like, you know, the original Batman stuff, he's always been a little bit on the violent side, a little bit, uh, he goes against what Batman says. Uh, and that's no different here. He follows the same principle as a lot of the DC comics do. Uh, I really like the fact that he's got a sword. That's just really cool. I didn't think that they would do a sword in this game, but I was wrong because him and Wonder Woman have a sword, and I'm pretty sure a few other characters do. All right, here's the clash system. Your mediocrity is killing me. So basically, you got to wager your super meter bar. And depending on, oh god, and depending on how much you wager, if your opponent wagered less than you, then you win. If your opponent wagered the same as you, then you tie, and if you wagered less than your opponent, then your opponent wins. Robin and wins. if your opponent wins, they regain 15% of health, 
or do 15% extra damage or something like that. I can't remember exact numbers. And it's the same for if you win or lose. So, and it depends on whether you initiate the clash or they do. So, you know, it's a pretty cool system. It allows you to regain health if you're getting absolutely clobbered in the second round. You can only activate it once you lose one, he uh, one life bar, though. So that's a downfall for it. But the rest of it is, you know, just like I said. Another bat drone. Your papa sends his regards. I'll pin the reply to your coffin. Begin. Uh, I do want to go ahead and get the DLC sometime. So I can show you guys Raiden and Sub-Zero and how different they are in Injustice. But right now... I, I just can't get it because I'm out of money basically after spending all my money on Injustice and a few other games. But, you know, it's life. Uh, as you see down there at the bottom, Robin has that little Batarang symbol, or Robin Rang symbol, I don't know what the correct term for it is. But, uh, that is his special power, that's his superpower. Uh, every character has a superpower, you can only use it when you have the bar field down there. And uh, it does a few different things. Robins allows him to either teleport or it blows up and hurts his opponent. Uh, and you know, there's just, there's other characters that have different things, like Black Canaries is a screen. Uh, the Green Lanterns is something to do with the ring, I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, you know, Superman's is a laser, that sort of thing. I don't know why he's standing still and not doing anything. Okay, I'll show you guys a stage transition if I can hit him. No, I couldn't hit him. I'd press the wrong button. But uh Robin Yeah, there's a thing in this game called stage transitions. And they are very cool. Basically they allow you to uh just uh go straight through the stage and transition into another one or another part of that stage and it does a lot of damage to your opponent. Uh, it can save you in certain times and it could be the reason you lose certain fights. You just have to watch out for it. But yeah, as far as games go, that uh, as far as fighting games go, this is a really solid fighting game. Am I supposed to be scared? Fair warning, this'll hurt. People moan about my ego. Begin. Honestly, in my opinion, this is a. Uh, as far as uh, the way that the game plays and stuff, it's much more solid, in my opinion, than Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, not Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat X was fantastic. But as far as gameplay goes, Mortal Kombat 11, this one's probably better. Injustice 2 is probably better. Um, characters, of course, I always like the Mortal Kombat characters better, but. You know what? It's just, uh, it's nice to have variety in fighting games sometimes. Sometimes I don't want to play a Mortal Kombat game, so. Ow. Oh. Okay, now, Supergirl is really good in this game. I might have to show you guys her sometime or another. As you see, her superpower is a laser, too, but hers is a little bit different than Superman's. Uh, just like in Mortal Kombat, you have special moves. Every character does. You can special cancel, you have, uh, you can extend moves, using uh, amplify moves and extend combos using the amplifiers, and then, you know, the clash system is a little bit different, but over, all in all, this is a really solid fighting game. Robin wins. I don't know how many opponents we have left, so this might actually be the last one. Let's see. Okay, I have one more Brainiac. Okay, yeah. This is the last one. And after that, you guys will see Robin's ending. And it'll actually be the first time that I've seen Robin's ending. Because I've not played through the tower with Robin. I've only played with Harley. So those you deem exceptional are added to my collection. Time to show you what I'm made of. Begin. 
Don't know why you would exactly want to be added to the Brainiac's collection there, Robin. Oh, that's another thing. You can use the environment in your combos in this game, unlike with Mortal Kombat. Uh, I think the, the developers put a lot of love into this game. I just really am disappointed with some of the costumes. Like, some of the gear pieces that you can acquire and stuff. Uh, the gear pieces in this game, by the way, the uh, gear system is much better than Mortal Kombat's new gear system. Just for the simple fact, you can customize virtually everything. From the their torso, to the legs, to their boots, and their gloves, to their weapons. You can customize everything with these guys. And I like that a lot, because it allows you to build semi-classic costumes and semi- uh, movie costumes. It looks like the movie costumes and stuff, but it doesn't quite let you have the exact thing that you want because reasons. Uh, I wish they would have added. Them. Now uh, there is Harley Quinn does have her movie costume in the Injustice Mobile game, which is kind of frustrating. Like they had it for the mobile, but they couldn't port it over to consoles. I don't get it, but you know, what's whatever. Oh, I'm gonna get beat by Brainiac. I'm gonna stop talking here and just focus on the game. Ah, oh, I, I died anyway. We'll try it again. Brainiac wins. This game's pretty quick, by the way, the fights are, so, you know, it's, it won't hurt me to lose a few fights here and there in this game. Whereas with Mortal Kombat Towers, if I lose a fight, then the video is going to be way too long. It always is. So you're a genius, huh? Beyond human comprehension. People moan about my ego. Begin. I like a lot of the uh, intros and stuff in this game. I think it's done really well. It's, all the other room studios' is, intros are done really well. Though. Oh my god, Brainiac just, he, he's, he's a, he's definitely a netherrealm boss, you can, you can tell he's a netherrealm boss, cause he's just ridiculous. I don't know if Injustice 1's boss was like this, but I hope to god that it's not, cause I am gonna pick up Injustice 1 for, uh, either Xbox 360 or for Playstation 4, probably for Playstation 4 and see myself. God, no. Here's Robin Clash. Oh, he's, his uh, super move, move, I mean. All right. It was not smart of me to do that. I'm sorry that I'm kind of cheesing it, <laughs> but you kind of have to with Brainiac. <laughs> he fell for that. I can't believe he fell for that. For it. Don't let up. You let up one second, he will absolutely wreck you. There we go. Here is Robinson. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. my father, and it's no secret I hated him. But despite all that, he sacrificed himself to save me, giving me the chance to stop Brainiac permanently. I was so obsessed with escaping the Bat's shadow that I never appreciated what that symbol really meant. Not until I saw it stained with my father's blood. 
My blood. This symbol is my legacy. A legacy of vengeance. My name is Damien Wayne, son of Bruce, grandson of the demon. I've been called Robin and Nightwing. But from now on, the world will know me as Batman.